Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about new perfume releases. There is so many, I can't even keep up. I feel like I just did this video a month ago and there were so many perfumes that I listed off that were coming up. And these are just perfumes that I'm excited about. I'm sure there's so many more than even the ones I'm listing here. These are just the ones that are on my radar and on my perfume list. If I see them, definitely gonna smell them and probably pick up a few of these. It's definitely overwhelming because perfumes are not cheap, especially not these days. But hopefully with these videos, I can kind of let you guys know what's new, what may be catered to your taste and if I do end up trying them out and reviewing them hopefully you get a better idea of what you want to spend your money on and what you don't every time I see a new perfume release that I am excited about I write it down and I've gathered up a nice list with a few fragrances on here that I'm really excited about I always mention this in these new perfume release videos but some of these have come out some have not <laughs> some of these have notes that have come out some have not like literally all we know about some of these is just what the perfume bottle will look like and nothing else so i'm gonna tell you all the info i know about all these and we'll go from there so that being said before we get into it please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn your post notifications on and let's get started first off i'm starting with a perfume that i actually smelled i literally smelled this perfume yesterday like just yesterday i was at sephora anyways and at the corner of my eye, I see the fragrance section and I didn't even go to the fragrance section because the Sephora that's close to me doesn't really, it's a very dry perfume section. I just feel like they don't keep up with a lot of new fragrance releases. And then I have like another Sephora that's a little bit better that has a big wall of fragrances. But at this one, I usually don't even check the fragrance aisle just because I'm like, there's gonna be nothing there. It's just gonna be the same old stuff that they always have. But as I'm checking out, at the corner of my eye, I see this Killian stand and I'm like, is that a new fragrance? So of course I head on over there and I sprayed on the brand new Born to be Unforgettable perfume. Now I sprayed it at the store in there and I was just like, this is a lot of woodsiness and just a lot of unisex sort of vibes. Now it is a unisex perfume, but once I got out of the store, then I'm getting a really, really strong cologne vibe to it. So it smelled a lot. It's a lot more masculine leaning than it is feminine. But the whiffs of it and mixing with the wind, I mean, I've always said on my channel that I love masculine leaning scents. Like I love the smell of colognes. Sometimes I wear my husband's colognes and I'll mix them with my own perfumes just to kind of make them a little bit more feminine. I'm a huge fan of cologne type scents, but this one is like straight up, if you don't love the like masculine leaning perfumes, I don't even recommend you go near this perfume because it is very, very cologne, like straight up cologne leaning. And if you don't like that vibe, you may not like it. Like it's that deep woodsiness. And then I decided to look up the notes because I'm like, I really like this and it has a coca-cola note in it and that just intrigued me because i don't think i've ever had or seen coca-cola in any other perfumes so i always love to see new perfume notes because when you've tried so many perfumes it kind of tends to get boring like all new perfume releases you look them up you look at the notes you're like i've seen this lineup of notes before like this is not exciting to me so when i saw that coca-cola i was like okay bonus points for unique it also has lime paired up with the coca-cola i was definitely getting the nutmeg and the cinnamon and the cedar type notes which is i think it's those three notes that give off that more masculine cologne type feel and it does have vanilla it was overall pretty sweet but with the heavy woodsiness about it and just kind of like a, an edge to the fragrance for sure like i said if you don't like cologne leaning fragrances i don't recommend this one but if you do and you like a little something to your sense. This was actually really good. And it lasted me all day. I sprayed the tiniest little spray right here. And I was smelling it all day long. I swear I can even smell it today. And I took a shower. So bonus points for that as well. Am I going to pick this one up? I'm not sure to be honest. Just because the more I smelled it, I'm like... This literally smells like a cologne. I think my husband would love it. And maybe every once in a while I would too. But I don't think necessarily it would be like a go-to of mine. And it is Killian. So it's not cheap. So we'll see on that one. But definitely not bad. Definitely bonus points for uniqueness. Right, the next perfume I'm very, very excited about. And if I see this at a Macy's, Ulta, wherever, I am definitely 100% buying this one. Like I'm actually very very excited for this but i don't think that it's out yet because when i look it up it's on no websites nothing 
I'm pretty sure this has come out in Europe though because I've seen TikToks of people getting their hands on this perfume. This is a new flanker to the Chloe Nomad line. I'm a really huge fan of the OG Chloe Nomad. I haven't had that fragrance in a minute in my collection because I got mine and then my mom ended up falling in love with it so I just gave it to her. But I really, really loved it and I just haven't gotten my hands back on it. But I really need to. I'm usually not into the house of Chloe because... They're a little too floral for my taste and a little too mature leaning. Again, this is all my taste. You may love them. I think they're beautiful. I think they're gorgeous. Very, very feminine. I just haven't really gotten into the house that much. I feel like Chloe and Chanel are two houses that are kind of similar in my opinion. Not that their scents smell similar, but they're more mature, more florally, just that kind of scent profile. So I don't dabble with them much, but I do feel like in the whole house of Chloe, Chloe Nomad is probably the easiest and safest blind buy. It's such a beautiful and unique feminine fragrance. It has so many like woody nuances to it. It has so much personality. That perfume is so good. And this new flanker, I don't know how to say the name, Chloe Nomad Nuit de Jupiter? The notes of this are good, yes. A lot of spicy notes and of course a little bit of florals. You get vanilla in the base. A lot of kind of unique notes all kind of thrown in together. But when I scroll down to the This Perfume Reminds Me of section on Fragrantica, I noticed so many of my favorite fragrances on there. Starting off with Armani Code, which I have in my collection. That is such a unique fragrance. And you guys know I've done and been doing so many declutters, but that's one I cannot seem to let go of. I've had it for a while in my collection and it's just, it's too unique. It's too good, it's too powerful. I'm gonna be honest, I don't wear it that often but I could never get rid of it. Like, it's so hard for me to get rid of it. So I love seeing that on here. I see Roberto Cavalli by Roberto Cavalli, which I recently decluttered just because I wasn't using it, but I always recommend it because it's such a high-end smelling fragrance for an affordable price. I see Burberry London, which is one of my favorites, have in my collection, and I love. Strangely enough, I even see Oriana on here by Parfums de Marly, and Oriana is known to be like this marshmallowy, sweet, sweet, sweet scent. It's very comparable to Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. So the fact that one of the sweetest perfumes ever is listed here makes me even more curious for this new Chloe Nomad perfume because I can't imagine the scent being so sweet, but I love the fact that it probably will be sweet. So I can't wait to try this one. As soon as it's out in any of the stores near me, I'm gonna get on it. Or I may have to just order it online because I'm actually so, so eager for this one. If any of you live in Europe, if any of you at all have gotten your hands on this perfume already, please let me know in the comments. I am so curious about this one. There is an exciting new flanker to the Flower Bomb line. This is called Flower Bomb Tiger Lily by Victor and Ralph. And at first, I mean, I have the original Flower Bomb, but I've kind of gone on a little journey with that perfume because I've had it, then I didn't have it, then I bought it back again. It's really good. It is a very sweet, it's called Flower Bomb, but it's honestly a sweet bomb to me, if anything. If you're not a sweet perfume lover, I don't think you would like Flower Bomb. But I've gone back and forth with having it and then not having it just because I feel like, I don't think it's a basic scent, but I think there's a lot of scents with that kind of sweet pretty girly flirty kind of scent profile so there was times where i'm like i really want this in my collection then there's times where i'm like this doesn't add too much to my collection but i do like it and i'm not getting rid of it anymore i have like a little one fluid ounce and i use it from time to time it's nice for layering too but this this new flanker is a sort of like tropical take i feel like on flower bomb because if you look at these notes we have coconut milk bergamot just to start with then you get tiger lily of course i mean the name is literally tiger lily i've actually never smelled tiger lily and i don't think that i own any perfume in my collection or smelled any perfume that has tiger lily in it so i'm excited to get my nose on this just to see how that note even smells like and then in the base you have mango i am so excited about this because there is so many tropical nuances to this and all i'm thinking is the sweetness already that flower bomb has mixed with all these tropical kind of scents it's very exciting to me in the perfume reminds me of section i see fame by paco rabanne which i really liked i'm pretty sure that one also has mango in it so like crystal by lancome which is another great one i see rio radiance here i see yara two twas i still 
haven't gotten the name. Just a lot of familiar tropical-y kind of scents. So this is a pretty exciting one to the Victor and Ralph line in my opinion. Here is a bit of a controversial one, at least for me. This is Narciso for her Musk Nude. The reason why I say controversial is because Narciso Rodriguez for her is one of my least favorite perfumes, the one that's in like the pink bottle. So many people are obsessed with that perfume. And if you love Lovely by Sarah Jessica Partner, Partner? Sarah Jessica Parker, that's like a dupe too for her. So if you're into that scent, there you go. You have a dupe. But it's not my favorite. It is the kind of rose that I absolutely cannot stand. It's like too much rose mixed with musk. Um, I don't care for it. And I feel like a lot of Narciso scents are very musky. I feel like his thing, his signature is musky and a lot of rose kind of notes. It's kind of crazy because one of my least favorite perfumes ever is by this house. And one of my favorite perfumes ever, probably my top five perfumes for life, is also in this house, which is Musk Noir Rose, which I've talked about on my channel so many times. So when I saw this new one, it's called Musk Nude. I had to look it up just because I was curious. I'm like, is it going to be like for her or is it going to be like Musk Noir Rose? Musk Nude has a lot of florals in it. White flowers, jasmine, uh, orange blossom, damask rose. Of course, we have to have that rose in there. Of course, the musk. I have pink pepper, which I like because I love a little bit of spice. And then tonka bean, patchouli, and cedar wood in the base. Anyways, the notes are what they are. But if we scroll to the this perfume reminds me of section, musk noir rose is on there. Irresistible by Givenchy is also on there. Two of my favorite, favorite perfumes ever. I also see um, Good Girl Blush on here, which I think I've smelled a couple times and it's just like a sweet, I don't know what, it wasn't blowing me away, I didn't pick it up. But the fact that two of my favorite perfumes are listed on here makes me really excited because if this perfume smells anything like those, any version of those, I'm gonna need to have this in my collection. This is another one that is not out yet. There's a lot of people in the comments that are saying they found this because they live in Italy. So we're gonna have to wait a minute to get this in the States, but definitely gonna be one i'm gonna try for all of my berry lovers out there me included this one is gonna be real exciting this is by fleur fleur has been killing it with all these releases they had mood ring which they released which by the way i talked about mood ring in my previous new perfume releases video and i did end up smelling that in a sephora it didn't blow me away and I didn't think it was long lasting. Like after I sprayed it in the store, I couldn't even smell it by the time I was home. I heard mixed reviews on that as well. Like a lot of people really liked it, but a lot of people were just like, mm, this is meh. But I feel like what they're killing it more with is their marketing, the look of these fragrances because Mood Ring, what drew me to it was that bright green juice and bright green looking bottle. It was so delicious looking to me. And then the marketing with all the gummy candies behind it. I was like, yeah, they really did their thing with this one. So whoever designed that, they need a raise. But this one, this is called Strawberry Letter. This is out. It is out on the Fleur website. It's not out on Sephora yet, but I'm sure it will be. This one, of course, has strawberry. It has plum. So two very juicy, very delicious, sweet kind of notes just to start off with i see red poppy on here and i really really enjoy this note scarlet poppy by joe malone being one of my favorites there's earthy notes amber tonka bean sugar very sweet seeming fragrance when i scroll down to the this perfume reminds me of section i see Delicious Cotton Candy by gail Heyman, which i have tried this perfume i actually decluttered it because Delicious Cotton Candy is literally a dupe for Pink Sugar by Aquilina. So the fact that this is compared to that leads me to believe it's going to be very sugary. I see Burberry Hurt on here, which makes more sense to me because Burberry Hurt also has a very prominent strawberry note. It's kind of like a mix of fragrances, honestly. So we'll see. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I hope that the strawberry in here is juicy and vibrant and very much there because i would love that but i feel like fleur always puts a unique take to their fragrances they have a lot of really unique fragrances to their line so i'm pretty sure they're gonna take this in not so much of a basic direction i don't think this will smell just like strawberry let's just say that like i'm sure it's gonna have some unique nuances to it and i'm here for it i feel like in these videos i always talk about a new sniff release as well i actually think i've smelled maybe one or two sniff perfumes because i think i've seen like a little stand at ulta 
and I think there was one that reminded me of like a Baccarat Rouge dupe. Nothing that I didn't have in my collection, let's just say that, so I, I've never bought one. But they have some exciting releases. This one specifically, this is called Vanilla Vice. And again, they are killing it with the marketing. If you're a gourmand lover, let's just say, I think this marketing very much speaks to you. This perfume is out. You could get it at Ulta. You could get it on the Sniff uh, website and the notes. This has an ice cream note. There's also sugar in here, Madagascar Vanilla, Amberwood, Jasmine Sandback, Musk, and Orconox. Not sure what that is. Never seen that note again. I always get so excited to see new notes that I haven't seen because then I like to look them up and do my little research to find out what it is. I see some of my favorite fragrances listed underneath this perfume. We have Mod Vanilla by Ariana Grande, Cherosa 40, one of my favorites. This new Kayali, uh, the wedding silk scent house scent that everybody loved. I never got my hands on it, but I know people who are huge fans of it. I see Vanilla 28 on this list. Just lots and lots of really, really good, sweet fragrances, woody vanilla type of perfumes, I feel like. I'm actually on the Ulta website and it's actually not out yet. It's going to be coming out online March 3rd and in store March 3rd. So we can look forward to that very soon. And you better believe I will 100% buy this the day that it's out and review it for you guys because I'm actually super, super in love with the whole vibe of this perfume. We have a new Sol de Janeiro scent. Again, they've been coming out with so many new scents. I just talked about the Delicia Drench and the body mist for it is out. I did see it in Sephora. I'm gonna stick with the body cream just because I don't feel like I need both. It's a really nice scent, very sweet, but I'm okay with just owning the body cream of it. But we have yet another Sol de Janeiro mist. This is called Carioca Crush. I think this fragrance was leaked or something because this is not coming out until summer. So we have a little while before we get to know what this is going to actually smell like, but people have leaked it on like TikTok. So I have this girl's TikTok pulled up right here and she's talking about it. And I can also tell you the notes. So this has notes of crisp pear, pink violet, and white cedar wood. A lot of really nice notes and this really juicy red packaging is screaming my name. I have a feeling they're probably gonna release more because they always do that, I feel like. Every summer they release like their trios like they have in the past couple summers. So I'm sure there's gonna be more and this is just like the first one leaked. And when it first came out, people thought that it was like a fake. And this girl is talking about it in this TikTok that I have pulled up here. Sol de Janeiro literally commented on her TikTok and said, yes, it's real, but they can't say anything about it until this summer trust it's worth the wait so that's pretty much all we know about this one i'm excited for it i'm so excited for all the summer fragrances because i'm sure that we're gonna have a lot of choices there is another alien and i feel like i need this perfume i mean i don't do this anymore or i try to at least to not buy perfumes just because of how gorgeous the bottles are but i think this may be an exception although i don't think it'll be an exception because i'm sure i'm gonna like the smell i love the original alien so i hope they keep some version of that in this perfume but the bottle the bottle is stunning like it's just it's beautiful this is another one that is not out here it's out in the uk in europe i'm not sure it's just not out here unfortunately not yet but it has some really nice notes of course the jasmine. We gotta have jasmine. Jasmine Sandback and Indian jasmine. There's also pear in this one and green mandarin. Cashmere and driftwood. Amberwood. Musk. Sounds really good. In the perfumes that reminds me of section, I see alien, which I'm very, very glad to see because this is one flanker that I need to have the OG alien scent in there somehow. It should be different to like differentiate and obviously so that you don't feel like you own the same scent because you're paying money for both things. It's like pointless if they smell the exact same. But I feel like with Alien, I don't know if I'm the only one, I need Alien flankers to have a good amount of the Alien DNA in it because I'm just so obsessed with how Alien smells. So I would love to see any variation rendition of it. But we'll see what this one ends up smelling like. I'm really excited for it, so... Definitely gonna pick that up when it's out. Lastly, I have to talk about these new finery perfumes. These were brought to my attention by you guys. And this is why I love this little community that we have on here. Because not only do I tell you about new perfume releases, but you tell me about new perfume releases. And one of you commented that finery has a pistachio scent. Because I've been raving and going on and on about how much I've been into pistachio lately. And there is a new pistachio scent in this line. Now, some people were speculating 
insinuating that this is a dupe for Kaeli Yum Pistachio Gelato. I actually saw Leah Jane talk about this perfume. She said that it's not exactly a dupe, but that it's even nuttier smelling, like the pistachio is just a little bit more there and it's more fluffy and vanilla which sounds amazing. I have not gotten to my target yet, but I have to. This is going to be, like, as soon as I see it, I'm buying it 100%. And then there's a, another one, which is the new Rouge. And obviously, this one is meant to be a dupe for Baccarat Rouge. I don't know how close this is. Obviously, I haven't smelled it. I haven't smelled the pistachio one. This is just me telling you about these new perfumes. And some people have been saying that they are already at some of their local targets. So if you have a target near you, you may want to stop by and see if they've put them out yet. Like I said, I haven't stopped by and I really, really need to to see if my targets have these out because if they do, I'm snatching them, especially the pistachio one. I don't know about the Baccarat Rouge dupe just because I have the original Baccarat Rouge. I have Cloud. So I'm like, do I need another dupe? Maybe I do. I don't know. Maybe if it's good enough, I may need it, but definitely pistachio one, 100% getting. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked learning about all these new perfume releases. I'm definitely really excited about all of these. There's so many more releases. It's like hard to keep up with at this point. These are just the ones that I've seen lately kind of going around that I'm really, really excited about. But let me know if there's any others that I don't know about that you think I would like. But that is it for me today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.